uh, what really comes to our mind when mentioning this pain, uh, when mentioning insulin, the hormone that is responsible for uh, introduction of uh, carbohydrates and glucose into the cells, uh, is the pancreas. So, as the insulin is a hormone, the pancreas is uh, an endocrine gland. In fact, uh, this gland is not only an endocrine uh, gland, it's a composite gland that's composed of both types of cells, endocrine and exocrine uh, acini. In order to reach this structure, uh, it lies uh, very deep, uh, closer to the posterior abdominal wall as a retro peritoneal structure. So in order to reach it, we have to elevate the uh, greater momentum and uh, retract the retract the, uh, the small intestine downwards, okay? So this is, this is structure, is the, is the pancreas, okay? It lies within the C-shaped concavity of the duodenum, okay? This is the pancreas, which lies in the C-shaped concavity of the duodenum. It's composed of four parts. Here on the right side is the head, okay, leading to the left side into the narrow neck then we have the body and finally there is the tail of the uh, pancreas reaching the anterior surface of the kidney uh, of the left kidney within the spleno-renal ligament okay uh, the position or the orientation of the pancreas is not exactly horizontal okay it lies somewhat obliquely with the tail being at a, at a higher level than the rest than the body and the uh, neck and the head okay so starting with the first part this is the head of the pancreas and it's the largest part of all of it it's related posteriorly if you can see it's related posteriorly to the inferior vena cava receiving the right renal and the left renal veins okay uh, posterior also posterior to the head of the pancreas reaching it from above is the common bile duct grooving its posterior surface okay this is the common bile duct grooving the posterior surface of the head of the pancreas okay uh, the lower border of the head has got an extension that passes upwards and to the left side this is known as the ansonite process of the head of the pancreas which overlies the aorta as it gives the uh, superior mesenteric artery okay uh, to the left side of the of the head is the neck of the pancreas this narrow portion and the most the most important hallmark in this uh, structure is that it's related posteriorly to the commencement of the portal vein okay the portal vein is formed by the union of the superior mesenteric vein which lies here to the right side of the superior mesenteric artery then it passes deep to the neck where it joins the splenic vein, which approaches it from the left side, okay? The splenic vein, when it joins this superior mesenteric vein, they form the portal vein, okay? This is the portal vein, which proceeds upwards. Okay? Left, uh, to the left side of the body, uh, to the left side of the neck is the body of the pancreas uh, that crosses in front of the abdominal aorta this is the abdominal aorta the upper border crosses the abdominal aorta at as it gives the celiac trunk while the inferior border of the body crosses the aorta as it gives the superior mesenteric artery here okay so, running posterior to the body of the pancreas is the splenic artery emerging from the celiac trunk Okay, splenic artery emerging from the celiac trunk passing down uh, to the left side at, within the uh, splenorenal ligament together with splenorenal ligament together with the tail of the pancreas to reach the hilum of the spleen. And finally, the body leads uh, to the left side into the tail of the pancreas. And I've previously mentioned that it enters the spleen arena ligament to reach the hilum of the spleen. Okay, that's it.